Hey ladies, so oh my gosh, I am such a dunce. I just literally recorded this video, but I didn't hit record. So that's how my morning's starting out. And um, yeah, so hi, how have you guys been? It's been a long time. Um, I don't even know where to start. I got married, um, so I guess we'll start there. I got married August 30th and to my now husband, but boyfriend at the time of seven years. Um, and it had actually been about seven and a half since our first date. So we're coming up on eight years. So not a huge change for us in daily life, except for my name. Um, because I mean, we've kind of been doing it for years. Um, but it, it's definitely been awesome. And, uh, we went on our honeymoon, which was amazing. Um, and I think that is the longest trip I've ever been on. Um, it was 16 days. We went to Paris, Florence, and Rome. And um, it's absolutely amazing. And <laughs> like memories to last a lifetime. So um, now that I am back, I, as I've said on my Facebook page, that I definitely want to dive back into this. And the thing is, it's been very, very difficult because um, in the last year, I seriously, and I know a lot of you ladies can relate to this, but I probably went to make a video about 20 times and I, like I've been battling with my depression a lot more lately um, than I did, you know, a couple years back, just over the last, I want to say two years. Um, it's just been like going downhill. Um, and, you know, I, I just, I refuse to take um, any unnecessary an unnecessary medicine. So until it gets to the point where I really just, I'm having issues coping, um, I still plan on sticking without medication and having my own kind of coping me mechanisms. Um, and, but it, it's literally, I've, I've gone to make a video about 20 times and like, I'm just like, meh, you know, like, why make it? Nobody cares and and nobody's gonna watch it. It's not gonna make a difference. And so I have good days, I have bad days, and I'm sure everybody on here knows uh, how that is. Especially with um, PCOS, it can really um, affect you. And you know, that's something that is associated with PCOS a lot. And so I, um, I've kind of have been battling with myself on that one. Um, but yeah, so, and also I, I've known this and I've mentioned it in previous videos. I actually, I have, um, I do believe a video that's dedicated to it, if I remember correctly. Um, it is called polycystic kidney disease. Um, it is not at all related to polycystic ovarian syndrome except for the name and the fact that uh, cysts develop on the kidneys, um, on and inside the kidneys. So it has been an even bigger challenge for me because my diet that I'm now attempting um, does not coincide with what you guys would be trying to um, diet or use, I guess. So with my kidneys, uh, my doctor suggested a low protein, if not vegetarian diet. Um, and then the diet that I have been raving about uh, is the paleo diet, which I still absolutely love. Um, I don't feel starved. I don't feel like I'm dieting. I just have to make sure that my vegetables are organic or as close to right off the farm as you can get. Um, make sure your meats are good. I would use, you know, lower calorie meats like chicken and fish, which Lord knows we have enough fish in this house because we fish all the time. Um, and for my husband's bachelor party, they went on a tuna fishing trip and they brought back a ton of tuna. So, um, it's just been interesting because there's really nothing that I am currently doing other than if you guys wanted to try a vegetarian diet, which is extremely tough because I love steak. I absolutely, my favorite food is a nice rare steak. And uh, so it's, it's really difficult because I feel really shaky if I don't eat enough proteins and I feel 
um, I, I don't, I can't think of a word to describe it other than shaky and just kind of not unstable, but, um, I don't know. I kind of feel a little starved eating just vegetarian because I'm used to all of that protein. Um, so I'm trying to find out, figure out different ways of getting protein because there are different ways other than meat to get protein. Um, but it's been an interesting ride and, um, you know, I, that's all I can really say on that one. Um, I don't know if I said it just a minute ago, but you guys don't have to worry about having polycystic kidney disease just because you have PCOS, um, unless you have a history of it in your family and um, have cysts on your kidneys, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, and that doesn't mean you have to go get yourself checked or anything. You don't have to worry. Uh, trust me, if, if there's a history in your family, you'll know. Um, but yeah, so it's been a kind of a roller coaster of emotion for the last year, year and a half. Um, just really happy about my wedding, about my honeymoon. And then on the other hand, really like just battling with my, um, you know, depression, severe anxiety, like crazy. I don't even, I can't even honestly explain it. I just, um, and I, my doctor knows because every like she can tell because every time I go in she's like are you still doing okay with your kidney or with your anxiety and with your depression so I mean it's best to be honest with your doctor because there have been some days where I've just been like I'm not okay I, I need to go uh, I need to do something but then the next day I'm like no I don't need to so every time she asks me about it I'm like no I'm okay I've been handling it really well um, so I should probably be honest with her because I'm sure there are other, are other options out there other than medication or, you know, just a consistent everyday medication. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's, this is just essentially an update on what has been going on in my life. Um, and yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, I know that you guys have, a couple of you have reached out um, on numerous occasions actually um, since I haven't uploaded a video I've gotten comments like where's Destiny and I've gotten messages and um, you know just, just stuff like that so I absolutely adore you guys and thank you guys so much for um, caring enough to you know branch out to me to try and you know, contact me and, and make sure everything's going okay and make sure like, hey, are you still doing this? Like, what's going on? Because it's a great motivation. Um, you know, I've, <sighs> I've just recently started going back to the gym. Um, I hadn't gone for about a year. Um, it's really hard when you don't have somebody to go with you. So um, my husband has volunteered and he has been going with me. We've been going for about two weeks. Um, I've actually stayed really just level at the weight um, that I am at for the last, I don't know, year, year and a half. Um, I lost about 10 pounds, um, I'm guessing, because I dropped about two inches in my dress size for my, like, a week before my wedding. So, um, but other than that, I haven't lost or really gained anything. Um, so, it's... It's, it's mainly my diet. I'm just controlling what I eat and everything. Um, but hopefully I can continue this journey um, by getting back to the gym. Uh, I'm going to start doing some strength, strength training, which I've been working on. Um, because I have heard that it helps you keep weight off. Um, and it helps you burn more calories throughout the day. So... I will touch more on that in my next video and just kind of talk about what I'm working on. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and I'll let you know I am alive. Um, everything's been going great. And, <clears throat> you know, I've just had some things going on. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. My Facebook is probably the best way to reach me. 
YouTube is so hard to figure out sometimes. So um, I would say just go on my Facebook page and it's PCOS with Destiny. Um, I do have a link in on my channel. So if the channels are still the same because I've kind of been out of the game. I don't know. But anyways, so go find me on Facebook if you have any 